In this video, I'm going to do some best practices and troubleshooting guide for printing labels. So here we have a variable product with two variations. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the scaling on my printer. All right, so I'm over on the inventory summary page, and this is a great place to test individual barcodes. So I've just searched for these two test products, uh, variable, and that'll bring up these variations. Now when we press the print button, here we have the preview. And I've already set this up so it works for my particular setup. I have my printer, and if you go down to more settings, I have the paper size, which is the 30334 labels, and I already have my scaling set up. But what you need to do the first time is you need to figure out which scaling works best for your particular label size, your printer, and the paper. So one thing you want to do is you want to play with this a little bit and start to see what happens when you change your scaling. Now, if you notice when I got the scaling too high, I get another blank label here. And this is because this label is now spilling over onto the next one. And so for my particular setup, around 150 works great. Now you can see that it um, will disappear in this area, but I need a little bit of buffer. And so I found that for me, 150 is just right. And so that's where I keep it. Now we want to do a test print and I have found that depending on the browser you use and the configurations, just pressing the print button may not always work and I'm not quite sure why. But what I like to do is I like to do open PDF and preview. And what this will do, at least on my computer, is it shows a, really an actual representation of what will be printed. So I'm going to go ahead and print. Bring this window up. And there's the print. So we now have a pretty good starting point of where we want to be. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to print in bulk. And we have a couple of ways we can do this. We can either uh, print one label for each, or we can print based on the stock quantity. So for this example, I'm going to print one label each, and that's just the print barcodes. If you wanted to print by stock quantity, that would be this one right here. But let's choose this and press Apply. And then we'll go to this link right here. And this is the inventory dashboard page. And if, if it doesn't show immediately, press the print barcodes tab. You may have other data here, either on the pick list or duplicates or something like that. So the print barcodes will show what we just rendered. And now we're going to do something similar. We're going to say print barcodes. And we have two labels. They're not spilling onto each other. And that looks really good because we've already established the scaling. But again, I'm not just going to press print due to this variation that I have seen in various browsers. And I'm going to open PDF and preview again. And now we have both of the labels, This, and we're going to press print. And they print perfectly. So you may need to adjust your settings and to make sure that they will print both singles and multiples correctly. And if you see issues uh, such as labels spilling over to another, you may have to decrease your scaling. So let me show you that. Let's say that we didn't have this quite right. Okay, now let's say you didn't notice that this was occurring. And then we go into print preview. Now we have an incorrect setup. We have a blank label at the end. And if we increase this enough, we would start spilling the actual content onto the next label, and we don't want that. Here's an example at 200. And you can see that the content is now spilling onto the next label. And if you open PDF and preview, you can see that the error propagates down, and we don't want that. So pay close attention to your scaling. Um, there's no way to exactly fix this for everyone. It's something that you have to do for your individual configuration so that you can get it to print correctly. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below.